Hi, I'm Alternate01, and this is a quick tutorial on rebuilding with the new Eschaton 0.7. This tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import Pelican into Blood Gulch. So, to begin with, we'll just open up b30.map, Silent Cartographer, that's the map that contains the Pelican. Here is the map information page, it contains useful information regarding the map itself. Scroll the vehicles, Pelican, recursively extract tag. This extracts not only the Pelican tag itself, but all of the tags that it uses, things like the model, the collision, all that good stuff. There's the top level tag, vehicle Pelican. And here's all the stuff it depends on and the things that those depend on so that everything that's necessary is used. Now I'm going to open and expand bloodgulch.map. That's the map I want to import into. Open and expand works similar to the Halo hacking kit. It slices the map up into lots of pieces and loads it into memory. This makes possible to do the kind of rebuilding that I'm doing right now. It's the major reason for Eschaton 0.7 required a whole backend rewrite, and it makes it a much nicer bit of code to work with. Um, I'm running on a MacBook Pro with 2.1 GHz Intel Core Duo chips, 2 GB of RAM, so it might take a little bit longer for you to load a map. It's just the way things go. Almost done. There we go. This is the Rebuilder section. Add tags. Vehicles, Pelican, Recursive. That's what I want. There's the tag count. 2410, import it. Takes a second as it loads all those tags. Import successfully. Tag count went up because of all the tags we added. Now I'm going to rebuild the map. Save it as build.map for now. Run all that data. A nice thing about this new version is that unlike every other rebuilder you've probably had to work with, there's no decrapping model step. It properly handles all of the model data so that it works the first time around. There's no messing around with extra steps. Made sure to get that right for you guys. About halfway done. A lot of data right. And done. I'm going to close that map since it eats up a lot of memory and keeping all that data there. Open up build.map. Get to the uh, plasma pistol so that we can actually use it. It's the plasma pistol. Reference swapper. Let's find the projectiles. Charge bolt. Change that to Pelicans. Alright, now instead of firing that big charge boulder, it'll shoot a Pelican. Go to Pelicans, Seats, P Driver, Strings. Doing this makes it possible for Master Chief to drive it because it's now a W Driver. When it's a P Driver, uh, he can't get in. So that's the end of the modding session. We're done. Go to Halo Demo the maps, rename Blood Gulch to Blood Gulch Original, so I don't mess up, change that to Blood Gulch .map so that Halo loads it, move on over to Halo, more to clear, load it up, Slayer, let's see, get into the passenger seat of a warthog so that I don't get crushed when the pelican shows up, Pelican there. Get that thing right side up. There we are. And that is how you get a flyable pelican into Blood Gulch for Halo demo. This is just one of the many new features and options available in Eschaton 0.7. We hope you have fun with it.